Hello and welcome to Thaik. For the new bookmark pin which was launched in November 2021, also few of them are raising queries about its functionality. So we'll discuss about this in detail about whether it is really have some issues or not. Like what we have seen previously about the page navigation. Let's get started. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So I have made a video about how to show active bookmark before the launch of this new functionality of the bookmark navigation. Right. So if you haven't seen that, you can also just check out that video about that. So on going on top of that. So this was the thing which we need to do a little bit of work around. You can just have a look at into this video. But now the experience is seamless. If I go back to home and click, sorry, if I click on insert and then click on the buttons, navigation and bookmark navigator. And if you want to know about how you need to create a bookmark and what are the things you need to consider while creating a bookmark, I have made a separate video detailed information about that. Please go and check out that video first and then you can come back here. And so for this demo, I'm just keeping these information like bookmark 3, 1, 2 here at the bottom. Now, even though this stage 1, 2 and 3 works fine, but here 3, 1, 2 is because if I open this view and then the bookmark and selection pane. So here's the arrangement here. If I'm just changing this to 1, 2 and 3, it is changing it here. That's really amazing. So first impression is a good impression as said, right? So if I click on right now, this is on stage three. So if I click on bookmark one, I need to click on control because I'm in a desktop. Yeah, it's changing it here. If I click on bookmark two, then it's changing it to here. And if I click on bookmark three, it's going back here. Now you can see all this has been perfectly working fine. Now let's dig into a little bit deeper. What are the other options which we have? If you have noticed one thing or not, I have noticed one thing, but I will tell you at the end of this video. Please be there till the end of this video. Now, so the general is options for information. I have enabled the preview feature of this new format pane. You can enable that preview feature from the options and settings. So here are the general properties. If you can click here and all these things here. In the new format pane, they are separated two things. One is for general and another is for visuals. General is applicable to overall for all the visuals and the visual is applicable only for this particular visual what you are in. So first here is the shape. It's the same actually the thing what we have seen for the page navigation this is really amazing. So you can change this uh, bookmark whatever however we need. This looks pretty good. And also we can change the rounded corner. We can change the angles of the shapes. That's pretty good. And uh, if I change this here, yeah, it's changing it to regular. And also here we have option revert to default. So whatever you did the changes for this particular area, if I click on revert to default, it switch it back again. This is cool. And uh, yeah, I'm changing this again to this one for the bookmark. And uh, as again, the best part is you can click here three dot option and then revert all the settings, whatever we did for this one and also we can expand and collapse all these options here. Now moving on to the next one rotation. So we can change the rotation of these things whether we can rotate the text you can rotate the yeah this course if I change this to 90 and if I just expand this yeah this is good to change this to regular rectangle what is that yeah this also looks good fine okay so if I switch it back again to zero yeah okay mm, yeah it is changing the size and everything and style here so here what are the styles we have same as before default hover press and selected so this is a selected one and this is the font color uh if you click on selected the font color is white now and if i just expand the fill it's black here so if you want to change the selected one something like uh, blue you can do that so this is a selected one doesn't look nice okay so these are selected one and this is the thing right this one now if i go back to default from here then see the experience is really good so i don't need to scroll down scroll down in order to fetch all this information it's just we need to change the state here and everything rest 
is here as is we can just change whatever we need over there okay this is really good thing and if you want to change like hover color of the fill something like to be this one if i scroll over here yeah it's changing the colors here that's good and the borders of it if you want to change the borders and increase the border width for example five when it is hover right yeah, whenever you hover, it's just in the width. Other times, it's just small. Yeah, this is good. Okay, and also the shadow effect if you want, and also the glow effect if you want to hit here. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, anyway. So now what other options which we have here is the grid layout. Okay, so grid layout is here horizontal. If you want to switch it to grid, basically, then you can option like you can convert this into one row and five columns and the padding is five. So if I switch it back these two, for an example, I want this to be five rows and it can be two columns. Yeah, this is really good. And if you want to increase the padding, that is also possible. So I change this to 30. Yeah, this gives a space between each and everything, right? Yeah, that's good. So now I'm changing this to be two rows and two columns. It's just aligning it here and the padding is this one. If I reduce the padding to five, yeah, this is also nice. Okay. So now the last option is vertical. What we have, if you want to align everything into vertical, that is also possible. We can align it here or here and then resize this. It is actually resizing based on the size what we have it here. That's good. Okay, now the last option which is the important one, which is the bookmark. So now if you want to show the bookmark of all or just the book on M. So what does it mean actually? So basically, in the bookmark, you can actually group the bookmarks into one. So if I select all these bookmarks here with click and then the shift click here, control click here, I think it is selecting one and if I select here, shift one and if I right click here, then I have an option like ungroup. Oh, right now it is ungroup itself. So let me ungroup this one. Okay, now if I click here, I am not able to see, actually this has to go, this is still there. Anyway, so if I minimize this and open again, still there. Anyway, so now uh, we can just select one option and two options here and right click this. We have an option like group. If I click group here, then group one is basically um, bookmark two and three and bookmark one is this one. As I have selected all here, that's why it is showing up everything here. And what if I select here? It's not coming up here. Oh, it's come up here. So now it's refreshed now. So if I click on group one, it's just showing me two bookmarks here, which is comes under the group one. And if I just scroll down here, add up here and realign this one, so I can see bookmark one, two, and three. The realigning thing is really amazing, I can say. I'm just changing it here, it's changing it here seamlessly. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so this actually refreshing, it takes a little bit of time. If I click on all, then whatever the bookmarks you have, it will show up everything here. This will be good if you want to show only a particular bookmark and if you don't want to show other things. That's one thing. And the next thing which is great is basically allow deselection, right? So if you want something, uh, if you want to show as a blank screen for the starting of this page and you want the user to select any of these options just to show this visual, right? In that case, also this pretty great amazing example, which you can show. So for an example, uh, this I'm going to add a card here. I mean, a shape one, rectangle. I'm going to add a shape here, aligning to this one. And let's give it a name for this shape, which we have here shape and then the shape. This is the shape which I have selected here, right? If I go to style, and inside to style, which it has a text here. Enable this one and expand this one. I can type here. Please select any bookmark, right? So I type it here and I can change the fonts from here. So whenever the page loads, it actually gives user this information. Now, if you want to hide this, you need to do a little bit of work, bookmark work, which I'm going to do it quickly here. So now um, these are the available options which we have it here. So the good practice is we need to actually rename this in the selection pane just to understand better what this actually means. 
So here as an example, I'm using the same thing. So I'm selecting everything from here. And this is a bookmark navigator, right? So I don't want this to be affected. And now this is the default behavior of how it looks like. So I need to hide this shape from here. And right now, which is selected here is shape two, right? So I'm clicking on this one and then I need to remove all these things here. So let's remove everything here. Working on a bookmark is really a time taking process. I need to select on selected visuals. So I'm selecting this again. Which one we are right now? It's stage two here. And let's select everything. Enable this one and click here and update. So click here and update. Okay. So now if I click on bookmark three again and I need to select this and I need to remove everything again. Only the selected visuals and then update. Okay. So if I click on bookmark one and click here and then also I am I did a mistake here just want to show you one thing so even actually I need to click on the display option here in order to work that so clicking on display and then update here so bookmark 2 I need to click on display for this I need to click on display for this just to enable this so if I click on bookmark 2 now it's working on bookmark 2 but the buttons are not working correct we so stage one stage two and stage three now forget about these buttons i'm going to delete this one because that's a temporary solution okay so now if i click on bookmark one is stage one bookmark two is stage two and bookmark three is this one now let's add one more bookmark which i can give the name as reset right okay so i'm just enabling this one and selecting everything from here and deselecting bookmark navigator and also enable index okay so clicking here and then the data can be taken off current page can be taken off and it has to be selected value and here update okay let me just resize this okay so now whenever the page comes up here it gives you this information please select any bookmark so if the user click on any of the bookmark now then can show page one and this can show page two and this can show page three if i click on reset again it just give me this option this is really great right so now i want to give you one more option here i have selected these options and if i expand this i can see bookmark one and all if i click on all here right now i can see the reset option also here so if you want to show the reset option here that's totally fine but if you don't want then you can also skip that so I'm clicking on group one now just to show one, two, three alone. And we have option here, allow deselection, right? So whatever the selection you had done, you want that to be deselected in order to just show you this value. In that case, you need to turn this on and launch on deselection. So what you want to launch on deselection, whether it is one, two, three, actually I want this to be reset option, right? So. So whenever the page loads, then it will by default, it will launch on deselection, right? So I'm just adding a button here, uh, another bookmark navigation. So insert navigator, bookmark navigator. And here I'm going to select only the group one, right? So I don't have option here for that, just to show it here as a reset options. One thing I can do it here is I can right click this one, I need to create a group. So fortunately, I can't able to create a group here by using a single one. I'm going to add another dummy one and selecting these two, right click here and create group. And now I have option here to do all these things. Let me remove this for now and add another bookmark navigator. So here I have an options just to show all our book group one and two. So here I'm selecting group two here and now go back to this, click here and then delete this one. I can see only the reset option here. That's cool. If I click on reset here, then this will obviously do the reselection here. See, nothing is selected here. That's really cool. So if I click here as a beginning bookmark one, it's showing up here. If I click on bookmark two, it's showing up here. And if I click on bookmark three, it's showing up here. If I click on reset, then it's showing the default page. Now, 
the one thing which I told you earlier, right? I noticed one thing. The one thing is still pending. I think is they are working on is if I click on bookmark one here, it selected the bookmark one, and then what is previous selected value is still highlighted. I click on bookmark two. The bookmark one is still selected. I need to go and mouse over here just to deselect that the color actually. So if I click on bookmark three again, the bookmark two is still in the color. I need to go back here and then come back again. Then it's changing the color. The same way if I click on the reset option and bookmark three is still there, even though the value is changed change here, but still the bookmark three here. If I mouse over and then go back again, it clears the value. Now if again if I click on bookmark two. Bookmark 2 is available here, but the reset color is still black. If I go back here and come back, now this also deselected. So this is the only thing which I pointed out, and also there is a little bit of uh, time taking process in order to load this bookmark option here. These two things which I noticed, but press other things, everything seems to be working fine, absolutely good, and this is also a great breakthrough. You can also copy the same thing on each and every page wherever you need these bookmark options. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Click on the join button to know in detail about what are the benefits you are going to get. Keep learning. See you in the next video.